Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our channel. I'm Daniel. Summer. Abigail. Gabe. And uh, we're, today we're going to be checking out Game of Thrones uh, House of Dragon. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. Um, mm -hmm. We both watched uh, Game of Thrones. Did you guys? I think you guys did watch Game of Thrones, right? I did. Abby did not. I've probably seen one episode from each season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of order. Obviously, yeah. We I know, know it's a big show. Joffrey. Joffrey, right? Yep. We don't like him. Yeah, right. Joffrey. Yeah, he, he probably yeah, he you, most likely won't be on this. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably not. So we know very little about it, obviously. I know, like, a little bit. I know it takes, it's a prequel. It takes place a few hundred years before the events of um, the original series. Um, so I mean, maybe it's one of those things that you don't need to know a whole lot about Game of Thrones, but we didn't read the books or anything. We're pretty, we're casual fans going in, but we got pretty hooked to the original series when it came in, when it, when it was airing. So I think this, I mean, I'm hoping it's kind of the same thing, but mm -hmm. I mean, we're excited to check it out. So um, I guess we just get right into it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Ready? There it goes. Oh, I missed that sound. As the first century of the Targaryen dynasty came to a close, Renice, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. The Lords instead chose for Yeah, this is the same that you wanted. The only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself a civil war. Go. Already excited. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny or weird to see so many people with white hair because in the old I know, show, so many, there's like right. only a few of them. Yeah. And I love that they kept the. Uh, I love that they kept the music the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's now the ninth year of King Cyrus, 170 years before the death of the Mad King. Oh, I remember hearing that. Daenerys. Oh, uh, before Daenerys was born. Yeah, 170 years before. <laughs> That's a cool shot. That's a really cool shot. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because this is like at the beginning you see dragons in the They have what? They didn't have saddles. Uh, they have saddles. Uh, they didn't have that. I don't no, I don't think so. No. She just kind of rode like her spikes. Right. Self. Hmm. I wonder if she wants to be queen or. We passed through the Red Keep's gates of first light. It seems that way. Mm -hmm. No. But you see that? You see how different that looks? Yeah, yeah. What the other one didn't have swords leading up to the throne. Get out of here! The walls of Dean. Dean? It has grown slightly, Your Grace. Oh. What are you saying? What it is? I've sent inquiries to the Citadel. Is that the first in the like, case of? It's a very stress preparing for the birth. Bad humans oh, yeah. mind can have a So he's against his brothers. I think he's more I think he's more just like all the people of the city. He wants to show them like his books. So he has like Yeah, 
But all that just to establish authority. Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, see. Meeting out the summary judgments and so Lady Rhea is your wife, the good and honorable lady of the Vale. The Vale men are sent to f sheep instead of women. I can assure you, the sheep are prettier. Tell me. Your own lady wife passed recently. Oh, man. That's mean. Too far. Did she not? Otter. It's like going to a football game nowadays, but you just. <laughs> you just potentially die. Yeah. Yeah, like he. Probably not. He went for the horse's legs. You can't attack the horse. Yeah. And once the, if the horse, like, I mean, once he breaks his leg, they knew it was dirty. Oh, my space. Did that just happen, or has he always had that? Oh, my grace. It's marvel that war didn't break out of the first blood. <laughs> Cinematography is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. oh. I love you. Does he not know? What are they gonna do? Oh. Oh. I don't think that she knows that it's the baby. Oh, oh, why don't they tell her? <laughs> oh. 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 Watch this. Y'all, it's gonna come out and it's gonna be a girl. And she's gonna die and he's gonna have a girl. That's exactly so No, oh my god. And do, oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. No pain medicine? Oh, no, she knows. Oh. Why did he just ask her? He's the king. Oh. He's not. Oh. In no way you're having surgery with a lady thrashing around like that. Nope. No. Oh. That's the that that's guy, the prince, right? Yeah. But now uh, he's gonna that guy better him. run. Yeah, he better just get out. Yeah. Get out of there. Oh, the no clean hands. She wouldn't have been passed out. Yeah, oh, from the pain. Oh, she would have been passed out. Absolutely. Yeah, I would be surprised if the baby even lives. Oh! Oh no. His one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Just do it. He's gonna, he's gonna get up and stab him. Watch. Congratulations, your grace. It's a... You have a son. Well, that's good. It's a boy. A new heir, your grace. No, nor the, their daughter, who is... Oh, God. Oh, I thought he, I thought something wrong with the baby for a second. Yeah, I, I thought I heard him gag. Or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs>
but should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident. No, no. What are you saying? My brother would murder me. Take my crown. I wouldn't be surprised. Are you? The king's firstborn child. Yeah. Rene. Okay. <laughs> no queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. Oh, it's nice crown. The queen. She was probably like a mother to her, because she just lost her. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I thought you might go to him, mm. offer him comfort. No. Oh no. In his dreams. He's trying. To He's get trying her to give, get her pregnant. To have a son. No. You might know his family. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, should have seen that coming. And bought out one of the pleasure houses on the street of Silk. Mm, yes, people everywhere. Let's see. They entertain officers of the city watch and other friends of his. King and Castle had long rumored had positions next in line to the throne. Styling him the heir for a day. No way. But did he, or is he just saying that? I corroborated this report with oh. three separate witnesses. The evening was by order of cancer. Celebration. I have decided to name a new heir. By your heir. Not anymore. Uh -oh. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel. By order of your king. Shoot. Who's this? Oh, shoot. No, he can't really oh. burn. Remember Daenerys? I'm sorry, Renewa. I have wasted the years since you were born. One thing for a son. This is all she's wanted, too. Damon was not made to wear the crown, but I believe that you were. Cornish, oh, wow. House Valarian, Lord of the Tides. Oh, is that his dragon in the colors? Look how his dragon looks. It's like... Yeah. Gusting out of the distant north. Mm. I'm Rick Old Stark. Lord oh, of the wow. Egg on some absolute darkness by the governor's winds. And whatever dwells within. Of the seven kingdoms. And protector of the realm. Do you hear my name? Nearest Targaryen, mm -hmm. Princess of Dragonstone. I think she looks worried. Yeah. The friend or the cousin or whoever she is. I tell his daughter. That was really good. Um, I wonder, how do you guys think this compares to? the first episode you saw of Game of Thrones. Like for me, Game of Thrones, I don't think I knew what to expect. I thought, it, I think I thought it was, it would take place in medi medieval times. That's about all I knew. <laughs> but in the first episode, I was hooked. I mean, I remember thinking I was overwhelmed by all the names, which I feel overwhelmed by all the names in this show. I'm gonna have to learn all these names. Mm -hmm. Same. Especially because they're like Targaryen names. Yeah. But then, spoilers if you haven't seen <laughs> Game of Thrones, which I would think most people have. But, I do remember watching that show first. Like I love Tyrion's character, and like uh, all the Lannister and the Stark family and everything. But then the way the show ended, with them pushing uh, Brandon Stark out the window, like that was like a huge cliffhanger, right? Mm. And you were just kind of mm -hmm. like, "Oh, shoot, what's gonna happen next?" So I don't know if this one had the same type of cliffhanger, but there's enough. The story is so, the cinematography is amazing. The the, the writing's really good. So yeah. how does it compare? y'all compared to the first one i thought uh, yeah i can go i i thought it was really good the uh some of the score they kept the same yeah. they would trickle in some of the old game of thrones that was that, that was nice yeah really enjoyed yeah 
which I really enjoyed. The vibe is the same. Obviously, some of the stuff that we don't really like, like the, <laughs> yeah, you know the the whole brothel. yeah the brothel. I was like, what do we call that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd have to agree and say maybe the cliffhanger wasn't as you know. It didn't leave me thinking, oh my gosh, what's well, going to happen? Well, on the next episode. But it sets you right. up for the whole series, or the whole season. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's developing the story, introducing characters, mm -hmm. you know, the whole lineage, how, how everything ties in. And it probably helps that we know, like, a little bit about the Targaryens. I mean, we, all we knew was, like, Daenerys. And, like, we, she had her brother early on, but it was mainly just her. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting to see, like, a whole family. Well, so that makes you think, yeah. like... From that, that was the first time in a hundred years that they're gonna name a woman to the throne, and mm. Daenerys obviously walked in a very like woman power. Oh yeah. So it's almost like from there, you're probably gonna see a lot of strong women coming up. I wonder how similar this girl, Rhaena, I think. Rhaenyras. Rhaenyras. How how similar Rhaenyra. her story will be to Daenerys? Well, because I mean Daenerys, as we know, she I started mean, one way. Right. And it became a very different way. Yes. And yeah, so the she was very aggressive. Very mixed, right? Like yeah. at so the beginning weird. of the series, sorry, at the beginning of the series, Daenerys was like the more calm, quiet one. Her brother was like the, the aggressor, yeah. the crazy one. Mm -hmm. But then she yeah. changed. So I'm wondering how it's gonna be with this. Yeah, this because she felt like a rightful, as a rightful heir to yeah. the throne, right? It was getting taken. So um, I don't know. You you interrupted me. So <laughs> yeah. I trained and thought like, Oof. yeah. I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, it's. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, so far, I like I like the first episode overall. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you remember Rhaenyra's name ever being mentioned from the Game of Thrones? Because I know some of these names that they were mentioning. Yeah, I don't were think so. Were popping up in the Game of Thrones. It could Thrones, be that I just don't remember. Yeah, that's a good question. It probably was like. If she ends up being queen, she's ever the first name, queen. Maybe, maybe, maybe in passing, or you know, like in very small dialogue. Yes, oh, they, I mean, they obviously, they that. obviously brought up the Mad King, which will be way right. later. But it could be like her descendant. It could be like her great great grandson, whatever it is. Um, but I don't remember them mentioning. But some of the names, but the names all sound familiar. I know it is. It's like the king, the Ceres. It's like you yeah. feel like you did hear at some point, but you don't remember how the oh, heck man. or I'm, what the point gonna roast me. I, I can't remember the name of the dragons now. Uh, maybe the dragons kind of take on the names of some of the ancestors. I mean, everything so ends with Eris. Daenerys, Viserys, Rhaenerys. Damon. Dracarys. <laughs> <Damon. laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's angry. No wonder. Yeah. He's, like, hey, he's, he's an outcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But, anyway. but then the baby was Balin. No. Oh, the baby yeah. that died. Maybe. Oh yeah, you're right. Ba Balin, right? So yeah, maybe that's just like a common. Damon Balin. Like to put on the end, but it's not something that they. Oh. That they have to put. It's just something that they like to do. <laughs> I bet we could find the answer somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure it's in the books or something. <laughs> yeah. But maybe we can have the answer for the next video. But it's cool that they can just by the first name you can already kind of tell what family they're from a little okay. bit. The Targaryen's yeah. names sound very different than the Stark names. Yeah. Yeah, you can also just tell by their hair. Oh, well, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a sure, that's that's a sure like giveaway. A yeah. I wonder if the Lannisters are going to <laughs> like sneak their way into the show in any way. Like their ancestors. Probably. Oh. Psychos. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Because we see Brathians, I mean, have... Starks, oh. and Targaryens. Oh. Right? Brathians, Stark, Targaryen. I don't know if there's any other families we've seen in this one. Did we... Was there mention of the Stark guy in the Game of Thrones series? Rickon? Did they mention him at all? Well, yeah. Rickon... Because I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, I think... Well, they had... That's the name of one of the the Stark kids, but he was probably named, named after... Named after... His great 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 uh, grandma. Yeah. So I'm sure it was a name that was kind of passed down. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know if they ever talked about... His life or history yeah. of him. Yeah. But I, again, the show like hinted at things that were in the books. So a lot of this is in the books that wasn't in the show. So there's a lot that we don't know that is probably out there. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I liked it. I'm excited for the next one next week. Yeah. Abby, do you have any? As someone who didn't really watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. I mean, I think the brothel is carried on into the show, <laughs> and the gore. <laughs> How about the story? Uh, Let's talk about the story. Or yeah. <laughs> The story. I mean, I'm just excited for. Was it overwhelming? Like, did little, you were you, the little queen? Was it hard to keep up, or were, do you feel like you were keeping up? 
Or was it? I feel like I was keeping up pretty well. Yeah. So Game of Thrones, that was a thing. Considering early I on. didn't know a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Early, but early the on little I do know, I'm seeing kind of parallels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is really uh, similar. Yeah. But I, I feel right. like this first episode did a very good job of setting up the story, like we said. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I'm it, kind of understanding who's who, mm-hmm. where they came from. Yeah. I agree. So. Right, because I'm, I, I definitely want to continue to see it, just because it didn't leave off on the same type of cliffhanger doesn't mean I don't want to see the second episode. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm still, oh, yeah. I'm still, I'm captivated. I'm pulled. In. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm excited. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this, and and you'll come back and watch some more reactions of uh, this show and some other stuff. We're gonna try different things on this channel, other shows, maybe films, uh, obviously music and different types of things like that. But uh, we're excited to check this one out because we're already fans. And um, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed and. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Peace. All right. Bye. See you later. (laughs)